welcome to Scope, where we're getting moving with the help of science. Today is all about human movement, so the first thing we need to do is stretch. In sports, our bodies are in full motion, but it's all hidden under our skin. Is there a way to see all the systems involved in moving us around? Hi, my name is Raneem, and I have a machine that can do just that. I'm a biomedical engineer, and my interest is in how the body moves and supports itself. I'm particularly interested in the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL for short. The ACL is this ligament that runs under the kneecap right here, which prevents your shin bone and thigh bone from sliding on top of each other. It is also a ligament that sustains a lot of injuries on the sporting field. Often, athletes need to have a knee reconstruction surgery or undergo physical therapy to fix the problem. My research is looking at ways of bracing the leg to prevent these injuries. But the knee is a complex mechanism. It's the largest joint in the body, and it is a mingled arrangement of bones, ligaments, and muscles, all hidden behind a layer of skin. How can I observe if the brace is effective? Enter the Cairn. Cairn stands for Computer Assisted Rehabilitation Environment, and it's vital for my research. Let's see how it works. First, we place these reflective markers on our volunteer's body. They are picked up by infrared cameras and track the movement of the person. The volunteer then stands on this treadmill, which moves as the subject moves, simulating walking on the ground. The movement captured by the cameras is then applied to a computer-generated model. You can see the different muscle groups activating by turning green. We can then test how the volunteer reacts when the treadmill unexpectedly moves. We can see different muscle groups activating as she keeps balance. It's unexpected moments like these that can lead to injury on the sporting field. The ACL tears when an excessive force travels through it. This can happen when a player lands incorrectly or suddenly changes direction. Maybe using a stabilizing brace will help reduce this sort of injury. Using the Cairn, we can gather insights on the human body biomechanics, and in doing so, we can develop strategies for future injury prevention.